Hi everybody, I'm Chrissy Kelly from Absent and welcome to day 10 of Smell Training Online. Um, rainy night here tonight, uh, so I hope the weather's nice where you are. Um, it's winter, it's dark here in my kitchen, so I've got all the lights on and I am hoping that I can um, help you with your smell training today. As you may know, smell training is really beneficial for you if you've lost your sense of smell. I'm here to support you and help you get the habit of smell training every day. So if you'd like to join me on this um, month of online smell training, do please check out our feed. You can look into, I think they're in our stories, you'll be able to find the other um, smell training daily events there and we're also putting them up on YouTube, so you might check that out. Um, <clears throat> before I begin, one of the things that people ask me a lot um, about smell training is they want to know whether if you use the classic four, so that's lemon, clove, rose, and eucalyptus, if you use those exclusively, are you just learning to re relearning to smell those four? And the answer is no. Um, the answer uh, is, is more that um, using olfactory training is going to build your level of ability to smell um, and is not just to help sensitize you to those four. Um, so if you've got your kit ready, and I hope you do, uh, let's start. <clears throat> the first one I have here today is Mandarin. And um, these are, when you see these with the plain white labels, these are ones that I've made myself. Of course, you can find our kits um, through the shop uh, and the we sell them to support what we do. That's our uh, only source of income. So if you buy a kit from us, you're helping us uh, continue our work and helping someone like you as well. Okay, so Mandarin, here we go. Lid off, little tiny sniffs. Mm. And while, you're, while you are doing these tiny sniffs, try and recall anything that you can about the thing that you're smelling. So mandarins, those are those little easy peeler kind of tangerine type things. A favorite smell, especially at this time of year. Making sure that you pause in between to take um, some, get some oxygen in you. And that's enough for that one. I read a really interesting article today about what's called olfactory imagery, and that's really um, the, the kind of conjuring up of memory of a certain smell. And uh, in this article, they were saying uh, that the parts of the brain that are activated by thinking about a smell that we remember and actually smelling the smell are the same ones. And this is what's really important about smell training is that we start activating these parts of the brain that are no longer um, getting their normal amount of stimulus from things in the environment. So we're stimulating the olfactory um, tract, if you like, with uh, memories of smell. And also sniffing is really important to that. So the act of sniffing is really important in remembering smell. Right, let's move on to the next one. I've got Rose here. This is from uh, one of our kits. <clears throat> For me, I'm, I'm definitely getting the kind of um, rosy floral notes. Nice little bunny sniffs. And kind of closing my eyes to, to imagine. It's really hard to be talking and doing this at the same time, but where you are, I hope it's quiet and you have a chance to concentrate on what you're doing. Good. Um, I'm going to wave back to all the people that are waving at me now. Hi, everybody. Okay, the next one is jasmine. Different kind of floral. Oh, wow, yeah, those are those really <clears throat> rich and heavy floral notes that you get sort of with lilies. Mm. 
So doesn't that need to be ages? I mean, just, uh, you know, a couple of seconds. What was that, 15 seconds, 20 seconds? That's what you need. And finally, I've got rose geranium. So if any of you have a rose geranium plant, you know how lovely it smells when you um, rub the leaves. Great favorite of mine. We are wonderful. Okay, so that's it. You know, smell training doesn't have to be difficult or complicated or take up a lot of time. Um, this is just a couple of minutes out of your day. And you know, in the next couple of days, I'm gonna be showing you some uh, kind of uh, surprising smell training on the go. Um, I'm going to be at an event on Saturday, so I'll be smell training live from there. Um, and you know, you might even see me smell training in the car because Getting in the car is something that we all do, and it might be a good moment uh, for you to practice smell training as well. So you can mix it up and make it as inventive as you like. The main thing is that you stay concentrated. So that's, that's the message for today. Um, well done for having been here for day 10. Look out for day 11 tomorrow, and I'll see you then. So bye-bye, everyone.